quantum computers are some of the most complex machines ever built, exploiting the weirdness of quantum physics to replace the bits, ones and zeros of conventional computers with qubits, quantum bits that can be both one and zero at the same time. The potential is for unimaginably powerful machines to solve problems ordinary computers never could. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi, Patrick Mallon, nice to meet you. Hi. But opening the UK's National Quantum Computing Centre is a tough gig, even for a minister with a pretty solid science background. When the then Prime Minister challenged his cabinet to explain quantum to him, <laughs> two of them were stupid enough to actually try and do that. <laughs> it was too tempting not to ask, can you explain quantum computing in a TV news soundbite? It's rather foolish to try and explain quantum computing, so you're asking me to be a fool, which I'm not going to do. Fairer question why the government wants to commit billions to advancing the technology. We see this as an investment for growth, which it absolutely is. It's where new companies are going to come from. Some of those are going to be very fast growing, create lots of jobs. And these sorts of technologies, whether it's quantum, whether it's AI, whether it's engineering biology, are the things of the future that are going to be the really disruptive technologies for all sorts of companies. The National Lab brings 12 different quantum computers under one roof. This one sealed in a steel vessel because its 24 qubits must be kept colder than outer space. In this lab, they're taking a completely different approach using microwaves and lasers to trap and control individual ions as qubits in a vacuum. That's the pumps that you can hear behind me. But whatever approach to quantum computing you take, the biggest challenge is scaling the systems up so they can perform useful calculations. On paper, quantum computers promise to crack the most chaotic problems, how molecules combine to make new drugs, the formation of storms or forecast financial crashes. But we're not there yet. Within this next decade, you will start seeing quantum computers in a practical way doing better than regular computers, classical computers in performance or cost or energy consumption. But to reach that ultimate goal where we can solve problems that have never been solved before or are impossible to solve, we're talking a couple of decades from now. Yeah. The potential of quantum supremacy is the reason for the government's big bet, but it could be a long while before it pays off. Tom Clark, Sky News, Harwell.